Hi guys, in today's video we're going to give our classroom flower horn an upgraded tank along with a few updates on the classroom aquarium setups. We haven't shown much of this flower horn, so we'll give some background here as well. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. We really appreciate your support. And let's dive right in. Here we have our four classroom aquariums. We've gone through many changes and upgrades lately, but one of the most exciting is the upgraded flower horn tank. We're also adding a fifth tank to this classroom shortly, so stick around for that. So this is Felix the flower horn. We named her before we knew it was a female, but the name stuck with the students, and that's what will always be her name now. She is definitely the fan favorite as she interacts with the kids the most. She's been in this 29 gallon aquarium since we got her, and we're now upgrading her tank to a 55 gallon aquarium which almost doubles the water volume. We have plans for further upgrades down the line, but for now, she'll enjoy a 55 gallon tank all to herself. You may remember that we upgraded our Predator half tank to a 125 gallon tank a few weeks ago, and I'll put a card in the upper right hand corner if you'd like to see more of that. But we repurposed this 55 gallon tank here as the classroom flower horn tank. We're continuously upgrading the size and quality of our setups. We hope you enjoy watching the journey. So we've now moved Felix from the 29 gallon to the 55 gallon aquarium here. She's already loving the extra space and is doing very well. She's about six inches right now and also very wide. Felix eats a ton and has a large bio load already. So she has two big hang on the back filters running. We have light decor in the tank just so that it's not completely barren, but flower horns are active swimmers and will move things around in the tank to how they want it, so we'll keep the swimming space fairly open. Felix has grown fairly quickly. We got her when she was tiny about 10 months ago. Here are some pics of her evolution over time. When she was about six months old, she was already laying eggs on flat rocks. She would clear a nest and move sand away and then lay eggs on flat surfaces. She would also get darker coloration during this process. One day we might get her a male companion. Let us know in the comments if you'd like to see that. Also, if you'd like to follow along closer, we post daily on our Instagram, so feel free to check that out. Female flower horns get very large, so even though this tank looks huge for her at the moment, we'll still need to increase the tank size again in the future, and we have plans to do so. Since she'll continue to grow fast, we'll have more upgrades on the horizon that we'll definitely share with you. Flower horns are notoriously aggressive, so she'll be by herself long term, unless we get that male that we mentioned. We just love Felix, she's the perfect classroom pet. As we mentioned, we're going to give another update on one of our tanks. We've previously shown this 10 gallon tank here. This has Jack Dempsey and Giant Daniel Fry that came from the 75 gallon tank. We are now upgrading their tank as well to the old Flowerhorn 29 gallon tank. So here's the quick update from the 10 gallon to the 29 gallon setup. We're not ready to get rid of any of these fry and we'd like to see them grow up more. So we think this 29 gallon tank will be a good temporary home for some of these fish. We're also looking to repurpose the 10 gallon fry tank. That will make five total classroom tanks and we'll provide an updated video coming soon. As you can see, we're always making upgrades and we're really excited to continue showing our progress. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the future videos and content. We want to thank you again for watching and we'll see you on the next one.